Choose a look for yourself. Dang, I might have to go with this baddie right here. What are we saying? But I think the safer thing to do so I don't get canceled is to go over here and uh, we'll go with this guy. All right, I gotta pick a name. Yep, that looks good. Whoa, this is cool. Wait, wait, what? Did I just turn into a chick? Wait, a side fade? I could use one of those in real life. Let's go. Oh my God, my boy is fresh. Milk boy looking fresh. Ooh. Wait, I saw some older Pokemon. I thought this was a whole new gen. It's time for you to dive into the world of Pokemon. Let's go. Director Clavel, head of Yuva Academy. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with luscious nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Oh, what on earth is that? It's adorable. Oh my God. It's like a, it's like a knockoff Teddy Ursa. Pokemon can be found living all over in the seas and the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their, oh my God, look at that Tauros. I wonder if that's like a Paldean region Tauros. That's sick. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle. They have their Pokemon do battle. <laughs> is that a Typo? Or am I just stupid? While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends. Oh god, it's going too fast for me to read. We the faculty of the UVA region can't wait to welcome you with open arms. Okay, so that's making me think, are the gyms? Oh, yeah! Wait. Were his eyeballs, like, electronic? They look like LED eyeballs. Pokemon Violet. Yo! Yo! What? This is so sick. Oh my- Flamingos? Wait, are those Pokemon or Flamingos? No, that had to be Pokemon. Yeah, okay. Look, dude, his, his eyeballs are electronic. Is he a robot? Okay, we got Elvis the parrot. That's cool. No, I, I love Elvis. He's the man. Milk boy! That's right, buddy. Study up. Study up. We got a lot to learn. We got a drift limb in the back and a hat a trem? A tem? Oh, God, it's been a while. Oh, and a, and a, and a apple ton. Hey, look at the fit. Look at that. Oh, tell me we can wear this bucket hat, please. It's your soft, fluffy bed. It's got lovely sun warm. No, 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 no. I want the bucket hat. Grab the bucket hat, boy. Move. Milk man! Ay, 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 ay! Oh, hit it! Okay, and we're dizzy. Is this a stuffed squovette? Are you serious? Oh, it's a plush. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like a dead squovette that we stuffed. Oh my gosh. Hey, they even got the switch in there. Look at that. Let's go. All right. Hey, yo, this house is lit. Are we rich? Hey, it's another squovette. Kill it and stuff it and put it in my room. Dude, wait, we're actually rich. Look at this house. This house is sick. Muncha, shut up. Okay, I'm kidding. You are, you are kind of cute. Milk boy. Hey. Hey, what's up, mama? Dang, mama looking fine. Good morning, milk boy. <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. Already in a uniform and everything. Yes, mama. I'm, I can't wait to study. I love studying. I definitely didn't drop out of college. Oh my god, is that dad? Dad, are you finally home? Can you stop calling me milk boy? Do you forgive the intrusion? Oh, it's the dude. That dude look, looks cool. You are master milk boy. <laughs> Yep, that's me, Master Milkman. On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, uh, and also my delay for introducing myself. I am the director of Yuva Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director? And you came in person to help my son with his first day? Okay, those two are definitely going to have some, uh, some romantic, uh, relations in the future. I can tell. I can see the sparks flying already. Oh my, look at his approach. She is staring right into his soul. Are we still playing? Pokemon, what's going on here? So here at last, the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Dang, dude, she will not stop staring into his eyes. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? I'm telling you. I'm telling you the sparks are flying right now. And Milk Boy is just standing there all awkward. He doesn't know what to do. He hasn't seen this behavior out of his mom before. Mr. Clavel is making mama feel some kind of way. I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director. Dude, I'm telling you. I skipped over that line quickly, but bro, that... <laughs> Mama said, why don't you go back up to your room and finish getting ready for your school while us two adults get to busy work. Dude, uh, oh my gosh. You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Oh, yes, Mama, whatever you say. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa. Who says a cuppa? Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? I would, hey, listen, if I were him, I would definitely not refuse either. I just gotta, I'm gonna put that out there. 
Oh, wait. Does this mean I get to put on my bucket hat now? Ready to put your hat in? Yes, dude. We actually do get the... Wait, tell me he puts it on. Put the bucket hat on, please. Yeah! Bucket hat milk bar! Oh, look at that drip. Look at that drip, dude. The girls are gonna be all over me. Yeah, stretching out. About to go talk to some girls at school. He's wearing his short shorts to... Show off his legs. He's even got the Jesus walkers on. Oh my, dude, this is drip to the max. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need to give my mom a 30 second warning before going downstairs. Mom, mom, I'm coming. Whatever you're doing, relax. I'm on my way downstairs. I'm downstairs. I'm turning the corner. Okay, yeah, pretend like nothing happened. We all know what happened down here. Oh, just look at you, all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well. Dude, are you hitting on me? Oh gracious, how very careless of me. Why do you sound like that? I had entirely forgotten that something else for you, Master Milk Boy. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Why are you talking like that, bro? Like, what? What are you doing? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director outside, shall we? Yes. Why is he calling me Master Milk Boy, too? I don't, I don't know how that happened. I like it, though. I'll take it. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. Oh, it's the starter time. Let's go. We provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. So this is our rival. Her name is Nimona, but I think I will call her Namami. What do you say, neighbor? Want to be friends? Uh, for now. Yeah, we can start off as friends, see where it goes, and, uh, you know, take it from there. Miss Namami is president of our student council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. All right, it's finally time to pick our starter. And I think the decision's pretty obvious. Taco! What's up, Namami? You ready to have a rival battle? I do have a question for you, though. Are you perhaps lactose intolerant? I really hope the answer is no. I trust that you remember Master Milk Boy is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling, says you. I might not have battled before, but I've certainly used his hands, old man. You better watch it. Go Taco! <laughs> Spigratito is getting the taco work, baby. Yeah. Get wrecked, Namami. What else you got? Is that it? <laughs> That's nothing for taco. Oh, she wants a round two. <laughs> I knew she wasn't lactose intolerant. Oh, the director called it off. Come on, bro. I could have went for a round two. Poor little duck man. No one picked him. <laughs> Speaking of Pokedex's milk boy, you probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit offended of people calling me milk boy. Uh-oh. No mommy wants me to go catch a Pokemon with her. Sounds like a day to me. Dang. Every time I see my mom, I'm like, Sheesh. oh, milk boy, I hear that the mommy here will be taking you to school. Yeah, we'll be holding hands on the way. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've already managed to make a friend. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of dating, so. What's up, LeChunk? Go, Taco! Hey, yo, hey, yo, the chunk, get to know me first. Golly. Yes, sir. The chunk was cut. He's literally called the hog Pokemon, so I feel like hog. <laughs> Hog is a very suiting name. I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Oh, <laughs> you better watch what you're asking for there. I'll give you some tips. I'll admit, guys, I haven't played a Pokemon game in uh, in years. I think the last Pokemon game I played was Black 2. And holy guacamole, this game has come a long way. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, that was a crazy noise. I thought that was Namami. Mysterious cry. Goo. I've never heard that crap before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. I said we find whatever made that cry. Let's look around, milk boy. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so stay clear. Okay, that's exactly where I'm going to, mommy. Come on. Oh, jeez. Jump! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, palm tree executor. Oh! Oh! It's the legendary Pokemon. And why are there hound doors just like looking at them? What are they doing? Get him, hound door. Jeez! Wait, did we actually fall? We f no way, we fell. We're dead. 
What? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what was that? How did we survive? Yip, yip. Oh, you just jump off to a 200 foot cliff and just say yip, yip. What? How are your legs not shattered in half? Look how tall that is. What just happened? I don't know, but hello there, my friend. Hello, my name is Milk Boy. Could I offer you any milk by any chance? Can you give it something to help perk up? Yeah, I got milk for you, boy. The sandwich. <laughs> yes, this is the Milk Boy special. I start you off light with a little sandwich and then finish you with my special milk. He's falling for it. <laughs> oh, when he's magically just back to 100% after eating a sandwich. Unfortunately, that's not how that works. I don't understand. Like, he's clearly a, a man-made Pokemon, right? He's a robot. Hey, whoever made him know, golly, they know how to design a Pokemon. That boy is caking. Oh my lord! Wait, what? Is he about to fight? What's happening? He does not seem happy. <laughs> oh, and he is now a hovercraft. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hi. In that grotto. Oi! Milk boy! Namami? How did you get there? There you are, Milk Boy. Are you okay? You're not hurt, right? Ah, I'm good. I just met a new legendary Pokemon friend. I gave him some of my special milk and now we're best friends. Now is probably not the right time to let you know that I do have to take a massive dump, huh? So he can turn into a hovercraft. I wonder if he can turn into a toilet. <laughs> Uh-oh, -uh, the gang is coming. Yeah, I mean, come on now. Yeah, wait, this is not a fair matchup. What? Taco! Oh, no, what happened? Get him, Taco. Did he just scare the poop out of Taco? And Taco disappeared? Let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. <laughs> smooth, Namami, smooth. That's right. Milk boy, Namami, sitting in a tree. I mean, if this guy doesn't look like a midlife crisis, I don't know what does. But he seems pretty upset that his legendary Pokemon escaped. The form of Rhydon takes in battle. That's its true form. Okay, so this Arvin dude definitely uh, knows a lot about this guy. Maridon, is that the Pokemon's name? How do you know it? You think you're up to ordering Maraidon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Yeah, let's do it, Milk Boy! <laughs> well, look at you, quite the little go-getter. I'll go get your mom. <laughs> you are challenged by Pokemon trainer Arvin. Ha! <laughs> Scroll that! <laughs> Doc Oh, you! Oh, if you guys are wondering why I have five hogs in my party, it's because I love big hogs. Okay, we just asked why Arvin has this thing, and he didn't really give us an answer, so that is a little bit suspicious. I would definitely vote him off the ship if we were playing Among Us. Why do I look so tiny next to my mama right now? I'm a little milk boy. But anyway, about all the giant hogs I've been catching, I wanted to find one with the perfect nature and ability. So I actually did catch one with jolly nature, which is lit, but it doesn't have the gluttony nature. But it's all right, we're gonna rock with this one. Look, milk boy, that's a Mesa Goza. Oh, it's a town. Okay. I thought I thought there was like a Pokemon flying. Uh-oh, our first trainer battle. This kid looks like he's five years old. <laughs> no way I'm about to fight this guy. Dude, this is the reason that I wish Pokemon were real. So that I could absolutely pummel five-year-olds without feeling bad. Oh my gosh, dude. Also, I did see that Pokemon earlier on the route, but I low-key thought it was just like a Dewpiter or something, so I didn't even bother to catch it. That is a new Pokemon specific to the Paldea region, so low-key, that's kind of cool. And that's it. I beat him. Nice. Good fight, man. 220 bucks I just stole from that kid. <laughs> oh, there's a magic carp over there. What is this? What is that? Hello? Oh, it's the Pokemon from the intro. What What are you? A palm me. Oh, Thundershock. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, is this like the Pikachu of this? Of the, oh. Oh, Taco's paralyzed. Poor Taco. Let's catch this thing. An electric mouse Pokemon. Wow, we haven't seen that before. That's, that's very new and original. 
What? That dude just disappeared. What? Is that Houdini? Did you guys see that? That kid just went invisible. What? You're telling me we can't just go into random people's houses in this game? Is this even Pokemon anymore? Oh, Taco. Oh my God. Taco's just on a killing spree. <laughs> nice, Taco. Yeah, get him. <laughs> Dude, wait, this is amazing. Oh, what is this? Hello? Oh, my God, that thing is hideous. I thought it was a lot cuter. A oh, Shrudel. Let's see what you are. Another mouse Pokemon. Poison and normal type. Shrudel. Go! She has no idea I have a giant hog waiting for her. Even if Taco does go down. Go hog! <laughs> Take that, no mommy. Yeah, the milk boy don't mess around. The milk boy don't play no games. What is this? What is that? What? Oh my god, it's Chef Boy RD! <laughs> Terrestrializing is always a solid strategy. It gives Pokemon the... I didn't read that. Oh, don't hurt my hog. Oh my god, that did so much. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe hog is not as good as I was hoping. I will never let hog die. Doodle, you'll be a nice sacrifice. And down goes Doodle. Boom! Take that, Chef Boy RD. Dang, this is Mesagoza, the biggest city in Paldea. It's pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Milk Boy. Dang, this girl really likes me, I gotta say. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. All right, yeah. I feel like now is about the time in game where we're gonna start seeing, like, the bad people. Like the Team Rockets and whatnot. Wait, these sandwiches are a $1,000? Oh my god. I'll get a little zesty sandwich. We can get zesty with the boys. Yes, sir. Drop a little rack on a sandwich. The zesty... Oh, yo! My boy's getting zesty with the zesty sandwich. I'm not really one to criticize graphics too much, but it seems like there's a big rendering problem right now. People are, uh... Well, they're kind of appearing and disappearing on the spot. And they're also very robotic when they're far. Like, look at that dude. He's either gonna poop really, really bad, or we're just having rendering difficulties. Dang, boy, you been hitting the gym or what? Eesh. Okay, I don't even know how to take a picture. Uh-oh, someone with red hair. That's how you know they're a main character. Here we go. Hey, what's up, gals? Hit it. I called it. I knew that this was gonna be the part where we get introduced to the grunts. Oh, wait, that's a chick? <laughs> We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us, but you knew that, right? I, I certainly did. It does kind of hurt to look at you a little bit. You're scary, kid. If you join Team Star, you'd be looking down from the top in no time. What? Am I supposed to be intimidated by these girls? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, oh, hit a pose. Yeah! Oh, oh, not a shrewdle. It's taco time. Uh-oh, Namami did a rescue. <laughs> Let's go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Namami gave me the Terra Orb. Why do all these other trainers get these cool emotes and I got nothing? Go! All right, let's do it. Time to terrestrialize taco. Yeah! Oh, he just destroyed him. <laughs> One shot it. Holy guacamole. I don't know who he is. He's, he's Candleman. Open Sesame! How is this a school? This is like the craziest school of all time. I feel like I'm at Hogwarts. Actually, Milk Boy flexed on him and ran him off? Okay, Pokemon, come on now. What have we become? You don't say you flex on them? If he says flex, I'm not playing this game. I'm sorry. Wait a second. Professor Jack is handsome as crap. Oh my gosh. Hi, class. My name is Milk Boy. Um, I like to drink milk. What's my favorite thing about Pokemon? Pokemon. Um, I like playing with my Pokemon. That's probably my favorite thing, I'd say. You went through all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, milk boy. <laughs> I get it, spill. <laughs> Spilled milk. Ugh. I've played enough Pokemon to not trust anyone. Jack is looking awfully suspicious to me. Holy guacamole! Someone tell her that she has an animal on her head. Ooh, this is pretty cool. It's showing me where all the gyms are on the map. And Victory Road, too. All right, let's go. 
Ah, Arvin, we meet again. No need to tell me your name, Milk Boy, right? It's kind of strange that uh, you remember a little boy's name. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wonder if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. I noticed a passing resemblance to a Pokemon known as Don Fan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it's biologically separate. To say nothing is treads of iron. Yeah. That does definitely look like a Don fan to me, but apparently it's like a Titan Don fan. So pretty much Arvin wants me to battle these Titan Pokemon because they are guarding these herbs that he wants to make sandwiches. Yes, you guys heard that right. Arvin wants to make sandwiches. And so I think he's going to end up sending me on a quest to take out these Titan Pokemon to collect these herbs for him. <laughs> look at his phone case. What a nerd. Okay, but here are all of the Titan Pokemon. False Dragon Titan, Quaking Earth Titan, Open Sky Titan. Does he know that I'm... 12 years old? Why is he sending me to these Titan Pokemon? This guy is a psycho. And he just sprints away. <laughs> like, what it just happened? This is Milk Boy, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Is this Arvin? Who? My name's Cassiopeia. Oh my god, that is a crazy name. Tell me, Milk Boy. You know something about Team Star, right? I mean, I know that they have two little girls that I beat up earlier. That's about it. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy of students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level, and I refuse to sit idly to let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring Team Star down this man, and I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. How about no? I really couldn't care less. No need to reply right this second. No, I did reply this second, I said no. I could not care less about Team Star. Master Milk Boy to director's office, please. Oh, jeez, what have I done? What's up, Mr. Clavel? How may I help you? Now, you may be wondering why we could have said simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. Let me assure you the reason why I asked to meet you in my office. Would you like some milk? Is that what it is? It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Oh. Would they like some milk? Is that what it is? I always have milk handy. Dang! Who is that? That boy is handsome. Is that my dad? Please tell me that's my dad. I carry out Pokemon research within the crater of Paldea at a site known as Area Zero. Oh, that's where the, the Titan were, I think. How good to see you. It's been quite a while since we last met. Okay, so Toro knows uh, Maraden. Uh, Mar its Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you received it from a man called Arvin. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, I'll continue to watch Maradon. Okay, so Maradon was Toro's and then Arvin's and now he's mine. <laughs> Let's go. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Why are you so angry, bro? Relax. Toro, don't tell me you actually did it. Okay, something's up or they're not telling me. Secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets tell no one. Or everyone. Tell everyone. Tell me. The secrets is what I'm trying to say. You can try to beat all the Pokemon gyms or you can help people in need. It seems like we're going to be able to do whatever we want. Like if we want to go catch Pokemon, we can. If we want to battle gyms, we can. If we want to battle Titan Pokemon, we can. That's actually lit. We have gyms to beat. We have Titans to beat. And now we have the star group leaders to beat. That is... 18 different like bosses to beat and it's quite a lot nothing milk boy can't handle though oh baby yeah no mommy check out my wamborghini get on my wamborghini there's room for two yeah buddy oh oh yeah yeah who wants some you want some eat that oh eat Okay, this is pretty sick. I can't lie. Although, I don't know why I can't use this thing in battle. That would be so cool. Ooh, our first Paldean Pokemon. A Paldean Whooper. I don't even know what type it is, but it's about to catch this dog. Oh, smoke, baby. Wait, look at this beacon. What is this? Hello? Oh, is it like a terrestrialized Pokemon? Hello? Oh, it's a terror raid battle. Okay, so I'm doing a raid. I don't even know what that really entails, though. Whoa. Oh, what's up, gang? Yay! <laughs> Let's go. Okay, um, I guess we just Thundershock this Azuril until it dies. That did negative damage? Oh, my gosh. Oh, and it just one-shot me. Okay. 
<laughs> um, I, I want to say we're not ready for this part of the game. Go, Paul, you. Come on, boys. Yeah. Oh, eat that, Azuru. Wait, I don't even want to catch it. I mean, I guess I'll catch it, but I didn't plan on catching any Pokemon that weren't from the Paldean region. But whatever. I feel like this is an epic moment. I have to. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wait, that's actually sick. The Pokeball got crystallized. Or terrestrialized. Ooh, look at all this stuff I got. Here we go. Gym number one. Let's do this. It's taco time. Hello, Milk Boy here. Wanting to challenge the bug gym, please. Before I can challenge the gym leader, I have to take this gym test. Take on the olive roll course. I think I have to push this giant testicle looking thing into the goal, which is all the way down there. This does seem mildly inappropriate for a Pokemon game, I must say. Get in. See? Yeah, let's go. Dun, dun, dun. My name is Katie. I'm the owner of the patisserie soap berry. Go taco! We are immediately terrestrializing and just going to destroy this little bug. It's taco time! Yeah! <laughs> Correct, Nimble! And her last Pokemon is a Teddy Ursa. But Teddy Ursa's not a bug type. Oh, she's gonna... Okay, so it's gonna terrestrialize into a bug type, I'd imagine. Is that what's happening here? Yeah! Okay, so it's a bug type Teddy Ursa now. Interesting stuff. All right. Unfortunately for you, Taco is a little bit stronger than a bug type Teddy Ursa. Boosh! And... Go sweeps the entire gym. Let's go. I was going to make a joke and take a selfie with her after I clobbered her, but they kind of did it for me. She gave me cupcakes and everything. Why? Is she, like, I would be really upset if I were her. She just got destroyed by a 12-year-old. All right, and five hours later, I figured out that there's a boxes thing that allows us to access our PC. So now I'm just rolling with these three amigos. All right, let's see what happens if we terrestrialize Hog. <laughs> what is he going to look like? Oh, baby! A ring. He turned into a ring pop. <laughs> and um, now he's dead. This Psyduck is giving me a lot of problems here. I really like this leveling system. All you got to do is look at a Pokemon and say, Go, Taco! Get him, Taco! Get him, Taco! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and then we get XP for that. It's honestly amazing. Oh, little boy! Are you scared? Are you lost? <gasps> Pikachu! Oh my god! I didn't know Pikachu was in the game! Hi! Oh! I know I said I would only use Pokemon from this generation, but come on! I didn't know Pikachu was in the game! Are you kidding me? Oh, let's go! Peekaboo has been added to your party. Let's go, dude. That's actually so cool. But as much as I want to use him, I think I'm gonna have to put him on the bench, guys. I, 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 yeah, I can't. Hi, Peekaboo! And here's another terrorized Pokemon. Boom! See you, Sheldon! Nerd, freaking nerd. <laughs> it's the flamingo. Hello, flamingo. What is your name? Oh my gosh. It's it's <laughs> it's called. Oh, it, sorry. It's not a flamingo. It's a flamingo. <laughs> what? What type is it? Are you psychic? No. What are you? This is the tankiest Pokemon ever. Flying fighting. Okay. Dude, I just looked up its base stats. Its base stats are 500. It doesn't evolve. But dude, 500 base stat is outrageous. Oh, wait, I'm level 16. Taco! Taco is evolving. Oh my goodness, let's go. Is he going to turn into burrito? Burrito! Oh, yo, that is sick. He's got a sombrero. A crocolar. Dude, he looks sick. I never thought I'd have to parkour in this game, but it seems like I do. Yay. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh. Maridon cannot swim, guys. So, oh, gosh. If I fall, I die. Repeepo? I'm risking my life for Repeepo? Are you... No! <laughs> it's a Paldean Wooper. Die, Wooper! What on earth is this? Faint writing is carved into the shrine. It's a shrine. Herein lies sealed the ruinous tablets. What does that even mean? What on earth is this? Oh 
Oh my gosh. This thing is awesome. I feel like we already have like four crab Pokemon in the game, but let's check this out. A cloth. Welcome aboard, Mr. Krabs. Uh-oh, gym number two. Before we go in, though, I have noticed a little bit of a level gap between Taco and the Hog, who honestly are probably the only two Pokemon I'm going to be using throughout the entire game. So let's go ahead and add a bunch of the XP candies to Hog. How many can I give? I can give all 11 to him? What happens if I do that? Oh, level 15. Okay. All right. Let's give him all of these as well. Nine. Holy. <laughs> oh my God. Wait. <laughs> he just got eight levels from that. Are you serious? Dude, let's go. Wait, and he's evolving. <laughs> let's go. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is actually epic. Let's go, hug. Come on, hug. Show me some. <laughs> hey, yo. He looking zesty. From a Lechunk to an Oink alone. All right. Okay, so this gym challenge is an Easter egg, except it's a Sunflower egg. Okay, that was, that was hard. <laughs> They're right there. What? Wait, does this count? Oh, yeah, it does count. Hello, old man. Have you seen any wild sunflowers running around? Those spring winds. Okay, you are delusional. He's going through a late life crisis. Hello, ma'am. Sunflower delivery. Ten of the most beautiful sunflowers. There you are. Now give me a kiss. You won't kiss me because I'm 12? Oh, okay. <laughs> I snuck one in anyway. <laughs> Let's do this, baby! Wait, where where's the where's the person I'm supposed to battle? Oh <laughs> What are you doing up there, bro? Why are people able to jump down 100 feet and not take any injuries whatsoever? I'm an artist, especially in grass-type Pokemon. Okay, okay. I do have Taco if anything goes bad, but I'm fairly sure that Hog has grown enough to destroy you. <laughs> that little... Come on, bro. You're gonna have to do better than that. Hog headbutt! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Dang, you dig. Look at that boy. <laughs> oh my, dude, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm having way too much fun. Hey, pseudo woodoo. Oh, wait, that actually did not do as much as I was hoping. Okay, yeah, you just can't touch Hog. And Hog stays undefeated, baby. Yeah. Boom. Shin Hog takes down the entire gym. Is anyone surprised, honestly? Are you the milk boy I've been hearing about so much? Who are you? Namami had mentioned that there was a promising new face in the academy indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. Well, you're, you're actually being a hassle in my ear right now. Like, honestly, I'd rather not talk to you. I'm one of the Elite Four. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. Wait, he's part of the Elite Four. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I gotta relax. I also teach art classes in the academy. Okay. So do tell me, young milk boy. Boy, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be a champion? Is that it? Dude, tell me that's not creepy that this dude is just gonna walk up to a 12 year old and be like, hey, I see potential in you. All right, two gym badges down, six to go, four titans to beat, and five star people to beat. That should be no problem with Hog on the team. Oh, it's Elvis the Parrot Squawkabilly. Well, can you take a singular headbutt from the Hog? Oh, wait, he's actually a little bit tanky. I'm probably not going to use this thing, but I do want to try to catch every single Pokemon from the Paldea region. So we are going to try to catch this guy. Elvis has been added to the party. Let's go. Also, if you guys haven't noticed by now, I'm very picky with which Pokemon I actually use. Who's this guy? Is that a Louis Vuitton jacket? This dude is drippy. The name's Clive. How long have you been spying on us? This dude's been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. Why do I feel like he talks like that? I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, milk boy? Uh. Uh, we're not pals. I don't know who you are. You are stalking a 12-year-old kid. You should be in prison. Wait, Clive wants to help me destroy Team Star? I don't even know who this dude is. If a stranger comes up to you and says, I want to help whatever you're doing, say no. Why would I ever say yes to this dude? Wait, Director Clavel? I have no idea what you mean. But if anyone asks about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, <laughs> that is the most sus thing I've ever heard. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Apparently, that's Director Clavel. Uh, I don't know what he's up to. But yeah, so now I gotta destroy all of these school bullies for whatever reason. I don't even know how this organization exists. But it's all right. We got Hog. Don't forget, boys. We got Hog, and he's just gonna destroy every single one of these people. <laughs> 
What is that dance? Well, all right. Time for me to self-defense the snout right out of you. <laughs> Why is he doing that dance, though? Oh, man. Wait, this is level 25? Oh, wait a minute. I'm not even fully healed. This could low-key go a little bit south. Just kidding. Yay! Oh! <laughs> Hog is too strong, man. He's too good. Are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Oh my god. This is gonna be my catchphrase. Kill me, milk boy. <laughs> oh my god. Let's give Tucker with three XP candy M's and see what that gets him up to. Level 26! Let's go! Apparently, I need three Pokemon to battle. That is a little bit annoying. We'll bring Mr. Krabs in for now. But I don't want to have Pokemon at my party that I'm not planning on using for the Elite Four. All right, let's see what this is all about. Okay, so I have 10 minutes to defeat 30 Pokemon just by sending mine out. Go! Go, go, go! Get him, hug! Get him, Hog! <laughs> this is awesome! Let's go, boys! It's taco time! Get him, taco! Go, Hog! Mr. Krabs, I don't even, like, can you not? Alright, and this should be it. Let's go! You're going down! Wait, why are they battling me from, like, a, 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 a spaceship car thing? What even is that? And I also don't understand how Dig is going to do anything when it's on top of a car, but let's see what happens. Get him, Hog! Okay, that did not do nearly as much as I wanted it to. And that did more than I'd like it to. Wait, what? Wait, I'm battling a car? Is that a Pokemon? What? <laughs> <laughs> what is this game? This is a Pokemon. All right, this has to be the strongest car of all time. I've already had to use a couple of revives and super potions. I just can't kill this thing. All right, it took me like 20 minutes, but finally I've destroyed this Lady Gaga vehicle. Jeez. That was by far the hardest battle yet. Oh my Lord. So these seem to be the five star leaders, um, and we just defeated one of them. Oh, we're getting a star badge. Let's go. Hey, selfie. Why do we take selfies with all the people that we destroy? I don't understand. So I caught a Cyclozar. Uh, accidentally maybe forgot to record it, but I'm not even going to be using it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. It is a pretty cool Pokemon, but it's just not as cool as Hog or Taco. I'm sorry. So I'm already pretty deep into the game, and I only have two Pokemon that I actually want to use. So I actually did some research, even though I didn't really want to, because I didn't want to spoil anything about the game. But I did find some Pokemon that I actually want to use. And I've said this before, the only Pokemon that I do want to use are Paldean Pokemon. But that does include Paldean forms as well. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's Hog. And some Pokemon that I really, really love that have Paldean forms are Primeape and Bisharp. So if I find either of those, I'm definitely catching them and using them. And then there's another Pokemon that's called Watrell or Killawatrell, which is a flying and a electric type Pokemon that I think looks absolutely amazing and so much fun to use. So I'm going to try to look out for that as well. The problem is I have no idea where those Pokemon spawn, so I'm not entirely sure when or how to even get them. Dang! Every time I do one of these raids, it's so cool. I believe that this is a Grass Wingle. Mm, yep, I think that damage says it all. What on earth is that? Is that Mr. Krabs? He is enormous! Dude! Yeah! Come here, boy. What's up, boy? Oh, God. Yeah, this is sick. Oh, my gosh. Okay, wait. This is about to get crazy. Um, I just realized that this is a really bad matchup for me. Oh, wait. This is the Titan thing. Oh, wait. Actually, that just wrecked it. Okay. Hogs the goat. Titans are nothing. Let's go. Wait. Why are all of its stats raising? Why are all of its stats raising? What's happening? But this should be it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think that that was a Titan Pokemon. Um, that was honestly not as epic as I thought it was going to be. Hello. Hello, Mr. Titan. I'm literally in its butt crack. <laughs> oh, oh, it just opened a cave. The Titan Cloth began eating something. Oh, it's the herb. It's the herb. Oh, what's up, Marvin? Yeah, get, 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 the, get the, the herb. Get the herb. Oh, gosh. It's going to get even stronger after eating the herbs, apparently. Oh, gosh. We have to battle it again, but now it's on some juice. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, let's go, baby. From the bottom ropes. Yeah. Hog is literally going. It, dude. Let's go! Mr. Krabs Titan goes down again. Oh, and he just disappeared into nothing. All right. All right. So now we're going into the cave that that Titan made to collect some of those herbs that it was eating. Oh, yeah. Don't show that to Hog or he will eat it right up. Yes, we actually found one and it's all thanks to you, Milk Boy! 
Let's go, dude. You gotta love me some Milk Boy. All right, so there is another badge in the books. That is a Titan badge. Let's go. And now we're eating sandwiches made out of the herbs that we just picked. Does that mean we're gonna get, like, super strong? Are these steroids? Are we taking steroids? Is he feeding a 12-year-old kid steroids? Do I want to give my sandwich to Maradon? No, I don't. It's just, this is mine, boy. Come on. Okay, so it's, it's forcing me to give it to him. I would not give it to him, though. I would eat that for myself, bro. I saw what those herbs did to that Pokemon. I want that to happen to me. Oh, wait. So is that going to happen to us when we eat it? Ooh, Maradon will now be able to dash. Let's go. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, we got the boosters engaged now. And wahoo. Let's see if we can make this jump. And come on. Yeah, let's go. Why does this Drowsy remind me of Madagascar? He's like King Julian. King Drowsy. <laughs> Oh no, not King Julian going down. Oh look, it's another Cyclozar. Uh, just in case you guys didn't believe me from when I caught it last time. I don't know, I just, I don't think that they're that cool. So, oh gosh, oh wait. <gasps> this, is, this is the Pokemon I want. Is this the, 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 the Watchroll? Yes, let's go. I'm gonna end up catching a bunch of these until I get the, uh, the nature that I want. Tony, let's go. I definitely might have gone through a couple other Tonys before I caught the right one. This one has a decent nature where it boosts the special attack and lowers the defense. And it also has the ability Volt Absorb. So now no electric type moves will even affect it. All right, gym number three. God dang. Lano here is the, uh, is the, is the gym leader. Definitely going to be getting a selfie with her after our battle. Might even frame it up on my fridge. I, I don't know. I have to play hide and seek with Mr. Walks about here. What? All right, gym test. Find Mr. Walks walks about. This is a... Oh, this one's actually pretty cool. It's like I spy. I see ya! Right there, baby! <laughs> Let's go! Boom! Pass the test. Easy peasy. Oh! Why does she have sharp teeth? Nah, dude. I was, uh, maybe into her a little bit, but, um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give that a pass now. Ugh. That is sad. Uh oh! It's taco time! Get him, taco! Yeah! Oh, yeah! He used Spark against Tony. And not only does it not affect me, but it actually heals me as well. And that's why Tony's the GOAT! Boosh! Let's go, Tony! What a beast! Oh, it looks like she's turning her Miss Magius into an electric Miss Magius. Okay, maybe a Megamind Miss Magius. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, if you're going to be doing that, I think it's only fair that I turn Hog back into a ring pop. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Hog. Let's go. Bring it home. Yeah. Yes, sir. Give me that third gym badge and let's take this selfie. Selfie, baby! Let's go! Oh, Tony's evolving! Let's go! He's gonna evolve into Antonio! A kilowatt roll. I'm Gita, chairwoman of Pokemon League, the organization that runs these gyms. Okay, well, have you seen me just mopping the floor with your gyms? Oh, it's like really storming out. Like there's like thunder and lightning and all that. There's a ton of new Pokemon here as well. Again, I really want to find a Mankey, Primeape, or a Bisharp because they all have Paldean forms that I really, really want to use. Wait, Loki, this is getting a little bit spooky. Who's calling me? I just realized my mom hasn't called me once this whole time. Oh, it's Arvin. What's up, Arvin? Rumor has it that the thing's staggeringly huge and real long. Are we still talking about Pokemon, Arvin? Come on now. <laughs> well, if this thing is as giant and as long as you say it is, then I should have plenty of experience grabbing it. What is this? Varoom! Oh, this is like the Pokemon car that we battled at the star place. Except... It's normally steel and poison. Yeah, see, that just got destroyed. I wish the other thing was that easy. Oh, look at this Rolling Coley and Corkle going on a date. Oh my god, it's adorable. Quick, quick. Hi. Oh, I try to get a picture. Turn faster. Uh, there they go. Oh, jeez. Hello. Oh, oh, he's going this way. Come here. What is this? It's a giant mealworm. Is that what they're called? A giant earthworm? Giant earthworm. Is that even a Pokemon? What is this thing? Hello? Oh my god, it's hideous. That is one girthy worm. Oh my god, it has legs. And here we go. The lurking steel titan. <laughs> That's all it did. 
dead. A giant titan Pokemon does like six damage. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. I didn't mean to, dude. I didn't mean to laugh. Come on. I didn't mean to laugh. You don't have to run away. I didn't mean to laugh. That time's got to grow up a little bit. Dude, listen. I didn't mean to laugh. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, and it's eating the herb and it's going to turn into a Super Saiyan Titan Pokemon. This is like the collaboration of a lifetime. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, dude, listen. I really didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Please take it easy on me. Duck Incinerate! Finish him, Taco! Yeah! <laughs> and down goes the giant, girthy, long, huge, massive worm. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same cave as the last herb that we were- Dude, this is the exact same one. Come on, Pokemon. We don't gotta be this lazy now. So do I not get superpowers when I eat these sandwiches, but everything else that touches it does? Also, does Miraidon want to eat it again? Yep, okay, here we go. Hello, Miraidon. Go ahead, buddy. You can have it. Even though I haven't eaten a gosh dang thing this entire journey. But yeah, you can have it, bro. Last time, it allowed me to dash on Maridon, so hopefully this time I can fly? He'll be able to jump higher now. Wait, that's actually so good. There's so many times I'm trying to jump onto things, and I can't because he's not jumping high enough. Wait, he's eating- Did he just eat more? He just ate more. Arvin, relax, my brother, relax. You didn't even get the herb. I did it. I did all the work. What is wrong with you? I guess I should tell you the full story. Okay, yeah, th I've been waiting for this. Let's hear it. Come out, bud. Wait, who? Who's here? Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is Mabostiff. Okay, so he's feeding the sandwich to his dog. Why would you not tell us this earlier? Like, that's sad. Your dog is sick and you're trying to make him healthy. I get it. Mabostiff here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better, whatever it takes. Okay, this, I don't know. I feel like it's a little too deep. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. I found it in my dad's lab. Oh, God. Herba Mystica. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. Okay, so these Titan Pokemon have eaten a lot of these herbs. According to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. I think your dog's a little bit overweight, bro. Like, that could be the issue. So that's his full story he says is that his dog was sick and that he's just trying to heal him why would he not just tell us that earlier like that's not like a deep dark secret that was strange i still don't believe him let's go okay so now apparently maridon can jump really high if i press and hold b Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Are you kidding me? Ah, Mr. Clive, we meet again. Ah, it's you, Milk Boy. Anyway, Milk Boy, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Team Star is a subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused worrying numbers of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. But these are rumors. The matter I'm directly confronted it with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. I don't know what Truancy means, but I'm gonna say it anyway, Truancy. They've been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular. The so-called bosses of Team Star. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with the team. So you are Director Clavel, but I'm afraid there's no response. Wait, Milk Boy? The kid who picked the fight with Team Star? Yeah, that's me, Milk Boy. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everybody else in the base is still asleep since we're up all night playing video games. Leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Who are you? Yeah? And what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. Who is that? I owe them in my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis kills, one has no choice but to rally for those near to him. Okay. All right, can I just battle this little kid and stomp on him afterwards? All right, Yusuf, let's see what you got, buddy. A gulpin. Wow, that's going to be a challenging one for me. All right, Team Star! Let's do this. Let's go, boys! Attack! Oh, wrong way. Over here, boys. All right. 
Oh, no, not this thing again. I'm not kidding. These things are actually so strong. Oh, no, dude. This is bad. I have a plan, though. I have a plan. Oh, level 32. Guys, this might be our first loss. This is really bad. This is really bad. Oh, wait. Was the car there last time, too? Because I swear the first time we battled this car, it was just I was just battling the giant car. But now there's a car on top of the car. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose. Like, I'm just getting smoked. This is really bad. Let's go, Hog. Come on, Hog. No, Hog. Okay, we've revived Hog. Heal them up, and it's time. Come Come on, Hog. Finish him off, boy. Jeez. He has more Pokemon? He still has two more Pokemon. No, I I, 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 have to, I have to forfeit. I actually have to forfeit. Holy guacamole. I just got spanked. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's regroup and rearm and uh, see what we can do next time. Oh, what is that? Oh, my God. Hello? Dude, it looks like Lady Gaga if it were an ostrich. S. Pothra. I might use this thing. Okay, let's go. This might potentially be the ugliest Pokemon of all time. And I'm going to name it Gaga after the one and only Lady Gaga. What is this thing? Hello, my friend. You are adorable. A Satoddle. So this thing isn't even fully evolved. It evolves with an ice stone and it is only an ice type Pokemon, but it's like incredibly tanky. Guys, I think we might be adding two new Pokemon to the team in just a matter of minutes. This is so exciting. I got a good name for it. Welcome to the team, Blubby. <laughs> Let's go, dude. He's my new favorite Pokemon. Um, So I just realized I've 10 of these XP M candies, and I'm just gonna give five, six of them to Daco. I want him to get to level 36. Oh, 38! Holy guacamole! Even better! I think he should evolve! I think he's gonna evolve here! Yeah, let's go! Daco! <laughs> let's go, dude! Oh my goodness! What? He looks like he's got the hair of like a, a 75 year old librarian. Oh, that is epic. Let's go. Oh, he's fire ghost as well. Skeledurge's gentle singing soothes the soul of all that hear it. It burns its enemies to a crisp with flames of over 5,400 degrees. Holy crap. That's already the move Torch Song. Sure. I think, is this like its signature move? The user blows out raging flames as if singing a song, scorching the target. This also boosts the user's special attack. Are you serious? That's amazing. Oh, I'm so excited for Taco. Look at him. Oh, yeah, Taco. He looks so cool. Let's go. <laughs> Guess who's back, baby? All right, let's run it back, baby. Come on. <laughs> Gaga with the big hit. Let's go, Gaga. Uh-oh, it's Taco time! Let's terrestrialize and use Torch Song. This is gonna be epic. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that's good damage. Okay, now is when I fight this giant freaking car thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're in trouble! They're in trouble! Uh-oh. Taco! Get him, boy! Oh! Oh, that's it? Oh, I thought for sure we would do more than that. Oh, gosh. All right, Taco, one last big hit. Come on. Oh, baby. Oh, my goodness. Sit down. Get wrecked, right, nerd. You stink. Okay, and after a little bit of research, I found where Mankey spawns. He is only level 19, but it's okay. We'll be able to level him up quickly. Welcome to the team, Bongo. Okay, I just started recording because look what I found. Gabagool. But it's a Pokemon. It's not the little things that you collect. It's an actual Gabagool. Yes, let's go. Gabagool. Let's go. So I just looked at up and Gimme Ghoul actually evolves into Goldengo after you collect 999 of the roaming forms of the thing. That sounds like it'll take forever. Gang is here, baby. Guys, check this out. I found a Ditto Rain Den. And of course, he transforms into me. So wait, is he fire now or is he electric? Uh, I don't know. But either way, if we do manage to take this thing out, that means that I'll be able to catch a ditto. Now that's gotta be like incredibly rare. 
What? No. We were blown out of the cavern. Pause. All right, let's try this again, but with Hog. Let's go. This is proof that Hog is better than Taco. I might be the first person in the world to catch a ditto if this catches. Yes, let's go. I caught a ditto. Are you kidding me? Welcome to the team, Lido. Gaga, you can get out of here. No, like, no one likes Gaga, let's be honest. All right, so the next gym that I'm going to be challenging is the normal type gym. And obviously, fighting is good against that, but my Mankey's only level 17. So I actually spent the last couple of hours, actually, grinding those terror raids. And I haven't checked yet, but I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of candies now. 30 medium candies. I'm highly considering just putting all of them on him. I don't even know what to expect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Plus 90,000 experience level 45. Bongo stock is going through the roof. <laughs> Bongo's evolving. Yes, sir. Okay, for some reason, he didn't learn this move, but Rage Fist is a move that you have to teach Primeape in order for him to evolve again. So now all I have to do is use Rage Fist 20 times, and apparently he's going to evolve into his next form. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Yes, yes, he's evolving. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Yes, Bongo. Oh, baby. Bongo has evolved into Annihilate. All right, now it's time to destroy this gym with our newly found bongo well now milk boy you appear to be progressing pretty well on your gym circuit yes sir what's this now is this a kid i've been hearing so much about why has everyone around the entire world been hearing about milk boy i guess it makes sense my name is milk boy i heard you like battling yeah yeah I, I do i actually just got a brand new pokemon that would destroy you i promise anyone that you have oh that's a that's a female i thought that was a dude okay and hey i know i'm pretty but no need to get intimidated by or anything. I, I, uh, no, 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 I'm not intimidated. Sorry. Namami intimidates me. I'll tell you that much. She's a member of the Elite Four. What? Rika! Okay, I see you. I see you. Gym test. Order the secret item menu. I'm not gonna tell you guys what the answer was because it actually was kind of fun to figure out. All right, let's terrorize terror to restaurant. Let's let's, um, let's terror. Let's put um, Bongo in his terror form here, and we'll just keep on clicking close combat. The only way Bongo dies is if he gets outsped, but I don't think that's gonna happen because he's level 47. And there's two down. Ooh, a Staraptor. This actually could kill me. It might be faster than me too. Wait, I think this is good for me because he's going to terrestrialize the Seraptor into, I think, a normal type, right? Which means my close combat should just kill it. <laughs> nice one. Nice move, bro. Booyah, baby. Bang. Gym badge number four, I think. Four. Yep. Four, maybe five. I think four, though. Yep, four. Ah, finally! The snow town. I've been looking for this place. Montenevera. This is an ice gym, so I'm assuming that Taco and Bango will be able to destroy this thing. Wait, is it ice? Or it better be ice. If it's not ice, that doesn't make any sense. Your job is to get up on the stage, show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles, and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with, with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Now get out there and have fun. On. All right. What's up, Matsunavera? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here, Milk Boy. Oh, come on. This guy's 10 years old, Max. Oh, it's Taco and Hog that are still in the show here. Okay. All right. One down, two to go. And our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lally. Hey, girl. Wait, wait, why is there a cowgirl in the snowy mountains? It's like the opposite of her natural habitat, but I'll take it. Oh, MC Sledge is our last opponent. Damn, girl. Watch all this noise I'm hearing. This crowd is so loud, it could wake the dead. That's definitely not what she sounds like. <laughs> is she Is she, Is she? she singing right now? Let me tell you what I want to hear. You're feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now we'll get this started for real. Sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over there on stage. Okay. Let me get in on it. Let me get in on it. Listen up, Rhyme. Your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this pro cashier. Oh! Boom. 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 
You guys feel that? Pro cashier, well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on deep discount. Oh, please. You think you can step to my game? Fool, I got rhyme right there in my name. Uh, I'm a spectre from which there is no protector. And victory unto me, you will render when the crowd sees you mere pretender. You wanna end my reign? You keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. I'm done, you won. <laughs> my rhymes totally whiffed. Hold up, where you going? That's all you got? Uh oh, but now, she looks into the crowd and she's Milk Boy. She points him out, tells him to come up on stage, and then, oh, <laughs> wait, yeah. I actually am there. Let's go. Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? Uh, what if I say rap battle? Ha! You got jokes. We both know why you're really here. Okay, thank God she said that because I really didn't want to rap battle, but I'm just going to do it for the YouTube video and for the culture. Uh-oh, the hounds are coming out. Oh, jeez. No more messing around. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That one's loving it. It don't matter, though. They're literally all about to get clobbered right now by Taco. We took two of them out. These are the last two. Let's go, Taco. Show them what's up. Yeah! Taco! Uh, Taco is most definitely dead. All right, and I didn't think I'd ever really use my Ditto, but Ditto actually came in really clutch. Because if you guys didn't know, Ditto also copies all the stat changes of other Pokemon as well. And that Toxtricity had like two speed buffs, two special attack buffs. It was crazy. So I just set on my Ditto, and then he was just as good as the Toxtricity setup. And it was just over after that. GG's! Uh-oh, no mommy's getting a little jealous that La Primera is hanging out with Milk Boy. Whoa, wait! La Primera with Milk Boy? That's right, Namami. Wait, did I forget to give you the full explanation? Everyone calls Miss Greta La Primera because she's just that. She's the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. All right, relax, relax, relax. She's the top champion? I do indeed hold that claim alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. I thought you were too busy to spend time checking in on the gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gyms. I've come to scout some rather promising young talent. Milk Boy! Yeah! Let's go, Milk Boy! But hey, I found Milk Boy first! You can't come stealing him from me. Aw, oh, do I have to choose between Mommy and Mommy? This is a tough choice. Uh-oh, okay, we're battling the Mommy again, but, uh, Miss Primera is gonna be watching. Let's do this. Alright, Mommy, let's do this! Oh, man, this is gonna get ugly really quick. Oh, man. I didn't even use Bongo in the gym fight. Bongo is, like, by far my best Pokemon. This is insane. All right, let's just click close combat four more times, and this fight will be over. Oh, no, it's her best Pokemon. Whatever will I do? Oh, I actually didn't kill it. I was not expecting that. I think I actually die here because I close combat it four times. And so my defense is, like, two. <laughs> and he critted. Okay. Down goes Bongo. GG. Let's go. Gita seems very pleased. All right. I'm at the next gym. That didn't take too long. Oh, it's Jacques. Hello, hello, milk boy. How goes your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm hunting them all, baby. I'm hunting them all. Doing everything. Oh, lucky egg. Let's go. Lucky eggs pretty much just give you more XP. Yeah, that's sweet. Thank you, Jacques. I appreciate it. Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. This sounds awesome. It's a race. To start your test, just head out of the gym and go up the slope to your left. We'll fill you in on the details there. Let's go. Wait, this sounds sick. I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but I do really like the idea of like there being unique exams or unique tests that you have to complete in order to actually battle the gyms. Because it's always been like there's there's gym trainers that you have to defeat in order to get to the gym leader. But really, there's I don't really see the point in that anymore now that this is a thing. Let's do this. Let's race, baby. I hope it's like Mario Kart. Look at this, dude. It's actually like ski slopes. Like I have to go in and out of the flags. This is sick. Here we go. Come on, Moriden. We got this, baby. Go! Go! Why am I going so slow? Go, 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 go. Oh, go faster, bro. Come on. Why am I going so slow? Seriously. Is this normal? Is this normal speeds? Am I going fast? I really... I can't tell. Go. Go. Uh. In. Out. In. Out. Pause. Wait a second. Wait, is that it? Tell me that's it. 
Is that a world? That's gotta be a world record. That's gotta be a world record. Put it in the books. World record, 40 seconds. Okay, so the last gym leader was Ghost. Surely this one is ice. Like, we're on an ice mountain. This has to be an ice type. If it is, it should be relatively easy with Taco and Bongo. Let's do this, baby. Ah! Hi, Blubby! Oh, don't make me kill Blubby. Come on. Dang, she kind of cute. What's up, girl? My name is Grusha. That's a weird name. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to... Yeah, that's a weird name. Grusha. Maybe they're like Russian or something. My name is uh, Grusha. All right, come on. Let's do this. Enough of the chitter-chatter. Come on, Grusha. Show me what you got. Frostmoth, that is so unlucky for you that I lead with Taco. Because you, my friend, are going to get one shot, and I'm going to get a special attack boost. Level 47? Holy guacamole. Please one shot. Yes, okay. It is 4x effective. And now we got my special attack boost. Let's go. That is scary, though, that she leaves with the level 47. Okay, bear tick. I guess we just stay out. I don't know. I haven't terrestrialized in, in a long time, so let's uh, see what we can do here with the little ter terrestrialization. I don't know if we one-shot a bear tick. I don't think it has great special defense, though, so we might, we might one-shot this thing. Let's go! Taco! Oh, and we out speed? Come on! Do him dirty, baby! Come on, Taco! Yeah! Yeah, boy! A Titan? What the heck is a Titan? Oh! It's Blubby's daddy! Oh, boy, this is scary. Oh, no, he knows liquidation! Oh, it actually did not do anywhere near us as much as I thought it would. Torch song! Oh! <laughs> Titan. You are in trouble, buddy. She still has one Pokemon after this, though. This is very scary. It's okay, though. I still have Bungo in the back. Surely Bungo can 1v1 whatever this last thing is. Okay. What is her ace that she is going to terrestrialize? An Altaria. Taco's dead here, that's for sure. Uh-oh. It's Bungo time. Bongo uses close combat, and Altaria goes night-night, baby. Give me that sixth gym badge. Let's go. Selfie. Ah, what is that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Um, is am I playing the Incredibles right now? What on earth is that thing? Let's fight, bro. What's good? You look scary, but let's be honest. You cannot take on Bongo. Do we one-shot this? I I want to say yes. I think we do. Bongo Bong! Dang, dude. Come on. Wait, what happened to Bongo? He's not bonging anymore. There we go. Iron Treads, the Quaking Earth Titan goes down. Let's go, baby. Another Titan down. What do you was that thing though yeah that's what i'm saying arvin that's like the first time arvin's ever said anything that i remotely agree with all right let's go get those herbs Ooh, arvin's actually being cool now he's not yelling at Maraiden. i'm just realizing now i probably should have done all the titans right away to get all of the buffs to Maraidon. oh his dog's barking now oh he's crying oh arvin bring it in come on give me a hug now you don't want to hug a little 12 year old kid that's fair enough Ooh, i can glide now on Maraidon. whoa Oh, yeah, that's sick. Are you kidding me? Dude, what? Uh-oh, you guys see that? It's Arvin again. That's right, baby. I'm going for that last Titan. I want to get the, whatever the last upgrade is for my Maraidon. I don't even know what it could be. Maybe he could swim? I'm, I don't even know. But I'm going for this last Titan. Let's do it. What the heck is this? Oh, my God. Oh, is it? Oh, 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 it's a titan. It's like a giant titan bird. It's flinging giant balls of poop at me. Oh, wait. Oh, I actually got hit by one. I, th I thought I would die if it hit me. But okay, that kind of didn't do anything. What's up, boy? Come say it to my face. What are, what is, wait, what is hanging from him? Hey, yo, what is that? Okay, hug, show him what's up. He just one-tapped him. Let's go. And you just flew into a wall, buddy. Oh, wait, he's getting his herbs. I see. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. The last Titan defeated. Ooh, let's go. Another upgrade for Maraidon. Yes, we can go on water now. Let's go. All right. I want to see how far I can glide on my Maraidon. Huh. Yep. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, 
God damn it, this is... Are you serious? No, this is so freaking cool. Ah, another Team Star base. Let's get on with it quickly. All right, I think it's safe to say that I'm slightly over-leveled. Yeah, um, this thing's level 20, and I'm level 43. Something here ain't right. Selfie! All right, the dark crew member defeated. Let's go, baby. I think we only got two more of these guys left. I'm really embarrassed to admit this, but I just realized that Bongo's nature is the exact opposite of what I wanted it to be. I'm an idiot. This whole time, I thought he was adamant, but he's actually modest. And so his attack is lowered and his special attack is increased. That's literally the worst possible thing. So I just looked it up, and apparently you can buy mints that change the nature of your Pokemon. It is 20 Twenty thousand dollars which is quite a hefty amount i must say but that is huge so let's look at bongo he currently has 122 attack if we give him the adamant nature he now has 149 attack are you serious <laughs> Oh my gosh. When did I, I don't know when I got this ice stone, but apparently I have an ice stone. And that's what Blubby needs to evolve. Come on, baby. Let's go, Blubby. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's go. That is a big, thick boy. Dang, this water gym leader is B.A., man. He looks so cool. And his name's Kofu. What a cool name. Wait, does he have two sets of eyebrows, though? Make the winning bid at the auction is my gym test. I gotta win that. Yeah, let's go. Maybe 50 Gs. I think that this is 50 Gs for food. I think it's literally for a meal. Let's go. That was the easiest challenge yet. What? Oh, this whole town is like cheering him on. It's like they all know that I'm about to whoop an old man's butt. And boom! Just like that. Tony one shots the entire gym. Selfie! Wait, this is actually a cool one. All the other ones are kind of lame. This one's sick. Oh, what's up, Rika? Is that your little girl? Hello. This young man is Milk Boy. Dang right. <laughs> Wait, what? I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny little one is indeed one of the Elite Four? No. This has, no, they're joking. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where the pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. See you there. Wait, is that a joke? I can't tell if this is a joke. There's no way that little kid is E4. Holy guacamole. I have 57 XP candy S's. I mean, they are S's, so they're small. But I do wonder how much it will do, because 57 is a lot. 45,000 XP up to level 52 for that Oh, let's go. Ooh, okay. Blubby up to level 47. That's not bad. Hog up to 46. I'm just gonna say it. Tony sucks. Tony is so bad. And I don't really want to play with the ditto just because, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's strange. So I'm still waiting for like an awesome sixth Pokemon to fill out the team. But I definitely love these top four Pokemon. But with that being said, let's take on another star base. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. What are you trying to say? Bro, get down here right now get off that vehicle right now and put those hands up boy that's a lot of talk coming from a fairy king all right he leads with a zoomerel obviously bongo is at a disadvantage for this entire battle but he does no gunk shots so we're just gonna rip some gunk shots and see if we can just one shot a couple of these things and there's one down <laughs> bongo Baby. Wigglytuff? Uh, nah, I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna stay in, actually. And we're just gonna keep on clicking on Gunk Shot. As long as I don't miss, we should just destroy these guys. Wait, we poisoned him. Does he die to poison? Ha <laughs> ha! And he dies to the poison! No way! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah! All right. And now for the ginormous car thing that we always have to battle for whatever reason. It does seem as though Bongo is gonna go down here. Yeah. Yeah, down he goes. Oh, wait, he didn't die. Can we land another gunk shot? No way, we, we, we gotta miss eventually, right? No, we don't. Apparently, we don't have to miss eventually. Taco time. Let's go, baby. Hit him with a torch song. Sing to him, sing to him. Yeah. Let's get that special attack boost. Yes, sir. Okay, he's gonna confuse me. Oh, baby, it's not looking good for the Lamborghini. Yes, sir. And down goes the Wambuguini. Dang, someone's mad. <laughs> Selfie time! Also, guys, we found this new Pokemon right here. I accidentally wasn't recording, but we did catch 
one. It's a Tatsugiri. And it's actually pretty good. It's a dragon water type. Its special attack is really strong. And I did catch one at level 55 and replace Ditto for it. Now, even though it does sound pretty cool, I don't think it's going to remain my sixth Pokemon forever because I don't think it's actually that great. But it's definitely a step up from Ditto. Oh boy, this is getting a little bit sketchy. Okay, don't look down. Do not look down from the wise words of Donkey. I actually am very scared of heights in real life, so I, I definitely would never do that if it was real. Thank God it's not real. Ooh, another four-star raid. Let's do it. I like that my teammates actually bring real Pokemon into the raids now. I got a Lycanroc, a Primeape, and a Sylveon as teammates. Okay, that did uh, a lot of damage. But I think we got this one in the bag, boys. Come on, Taco! Yes, sir! That's my second fourth star raid taken down. That should be a lot of XP candies for us. Whoa! What is this thing? Whoa! What is that? Hello, buddy. Don Dozo. This thing is fat. 150 HP, 115 defense. Whoa! Look at these Gyaradoses! Dude! They look so cool! Oh my gosh, I want one so... Are they coming to it? I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! Oh my god! Oh my god, I didn't mean it, bro! Relax. I found Ponyard, finally! Oh my god, dude, wait, I've been looking for Ponyard this entire game, like, literally the whole time. Let's go! So the reason I've wanted Ponyard this whole time is because it evolves into Bisharp, which everyone knows, but similar to how Primeape evolves into Annihilate, Bisharp also got a Paldean evolution. And so now, Bisharp actually evolves into King Gambit, and I think it looks awesome and I want it. I've been grinding off camera, I literally just hit my record button. This has taken quite some time to figure out how to get this. To get Bishop to evolve, you have to defeat three other Bishops that are holding leaders' crests. So I've just been smoking other Bishops with mine. And here we go! Yes, sir! Look at that beast! Your Bisharp has evolved into a King Gambit. He's got higher attack, higher defense, and higher special defense than Bongo. And we all thought Bongo was freaking awesome. But I think the most OP part about this Pokemon is look at his ability, Supreme Overlord. When the Pokemon enters a battle, its attack and special attack stats are slightly boosted for each of the allies in his party that have already been defeated. This means that if like two or three of my party members have already died in the battle that I'm battling, if I send out King Gambit, it's attack will be increased one stage for each of those other Pokemon. That is crazy! So it looks like this is going to be my final team for the rest of this game. Honestly, guys, Tony is horrible. Tony stinks. Don't ever use Tony. But for the memes, we are going to make Tony very strong. So I do have a bunch of candies again. Let's give him 12 medium candies. How much is that going to do to him? 51? All right, let's give him some more. And there we go. Look at how balanced this team is. All level 55 and all ready to rock. We only have one gym left, one Titan left, and one star boss left. Alright, the last team star hideout. Let's do this. Get him, Tony, go! Yeah, Tony! Wait, these are actually so much fun, dude. Oh, no, it's the Wabagweenie. Oh, dang. Alright, Ari, let's see what you got. If Tony can land all of his hurricanes, this might actually be a very quick fight. Get him, Tony! Yeah! Come on, Tony, get him! I know you've had been with Bongo your whole life. Oh, almost one shot to big Bongo. Okay, and um, well, I could have guessed that would have happened. I feel like I have to do it. Let's go. Bongo versus Bongo. Who is the better Bongo? Yeah, Bongo goes first. Let's go. Yes, sir. It's been a while since Taco was turned into a candle. I think it's about time that we run it back one more time. Yes, Taco time. Boom, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That one's going up on my fridge. I feel kind of bad because all of these Team Star members say that they're in Team Star because they got bullied at school. And my entire objective is to go destroy all of these people who got bullied in school. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Where is he? I'll, I'll go whoop him right now. No need to search for them. The true identity of the big boss is you. 
this whole time? Oh my gosh, this is Scooby-Doo. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up. So I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Milk Boy, I'll be waiting for you at the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. Holy guacamole! So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it was possible. But with this revelation, I might just have an inkling as to their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. Holy Scooby-Doo. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Guys, I think we might have found the Titan. This is so ridiculous. Oh! oh look at that! Oh, he just ate. He just ate the the the, the, the what is it called? Sagiri? Sagiri? Oh, wait, that's it. We're we're going for it. All right. He ate. I've been trying to figure out how to spawn this stupid Titan for two days. I literally, I tried yesterday. I couldn't figure it out. But I guess you just have to battle that that one fish that's on the that's flopping around right there. Don Dozo, the False Dragon Titan. Who'd have thought that Tony would be the one to take it out? Dude, it is massive. Look at it in the water. Holy guacamole. Come here, boy. Come here. Wait, can I ride on him? Ha <laughs> ha, look at this. Yo. Excuse me. Pardon me. Wait. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, here's another way. I think, is this, do I have to battle this fish now? Yup. Oh, oh, he's gonna eat me. Oh, that was an aggressive tail whip. Oh, and Arvin disappears, of course. Milk boy, did you find the Titan? Of course I did. Hands up, don't move. <laughs> what is he doing? Arvin, what are you actually doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh boy. Come on, Tony. I want to know like what level this thing actually is. Oh, oh my discharge is going to hit his greed end as well. <laughs> Get him, Tony. Yeah. But there we go. Tony takes down Don Dozo, the false dragon Titan, let's go. What, does that thing want to fight too? Wait, wait, it's back? Wait, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, I have to fight the, the Tatsugiri. Oh, the Tatsugiri is also the false dragon Titan? I don't know what's going on, but let's get a baby. Oh, wait, that did like nothing. Okay, this 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 could get interesting. This could get bad. I paralyzed the green end. That's funny. All right, this is kind of a test. So Tony just died. If I throw King Tut out after Tony dies. Yep, Supreme Overlord King Tut's attack was raised. That is actually insane. That is such a good ability. Oh my gosh! That wasn't even super effective and it did that much damage. Get him, King Tut! Yeah! All right, so now is the last Titan down? Phew! Nice job, Milk Boy. That's my hardworking little bud. You don't gotta, like, talk down to me like that, Arvin. Here we go, the exact same cave again. <laughs> Let's go! False Dragon Titan defeated! That is the last Titan that we needed. And now I think the last objective that we have to do, for the school at least, is defeat one last gym. Wait a second, since this is the last Titan, maybe giving this last herb to Maridon will allow me to actually use him in battle. Oh, no. He can just climb up vertical surfaces now. Oh, his doggy's still not feeling good. Come on. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. He stood up. He's moving. This is progress. <gasps> oh, well, there we go. Arvin's dog is finally better. We slayed five giant titans and risked our lives so that Arvin's dog could feel better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's good. I would, yeah, no, that's fair. I've been searching so long a way to reach you because no one else can get into my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Milk Boy back to the lighthouse with you. To the lab on Poco Path. I'll reach out once more once you arrive there. That's my dad? Wait, dad, where have you been this whole time? That's what I'm saying. Where's Milk Man? All right, here we go. Into the lab. Things are about to get freaky. What is going on here? I need your help. I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero in the Great Crater of Paldea. I've been researching the unique Pokemon here for a long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Turo's glorious research. But there is one thing we need first, something that can be found within the lab. What we need is the Violet Book. Wait. 
Do you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites things. Bring the violet book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. So I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but Toro is Arvin's dad. And Arvin doesn't like Toro because all Toro does is research. And this is the first time that they're talking in a long time. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. I don't think so. Have you seen my team? Bongo will carry us to victory. You may take your time to gather some reliable allies before you come if you feel the need. I will be waiting for you in the deepest parts of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Why does he keep saying the deepest part? Like, come on, bro. How many times do you have to say that before I'm going to say pause? Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that my Bostiff got wounded in the first place, down in the great crater of Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? Of course I'm gonna go, baby! Let's go right now! Do you know who I am? I'm Moot Boy! I suppose he, he did ask. Dang right he asked. Well, he asked me specifically. He asked the Milk Boy himself. So I guess I'm going to... Woohoo! Let's go, Arvin and his Greedent, to help me find his dad. Besides, I'd love to give my dad a piece of my mind. All right then, Milk Boy, outside! So before we go to Area Zero into that giant crater, we have to recruit some people, and apparently Arvin wants to get people of champion rank, so I'm hoping Namami... Uh, not Penny, what? Let's go Namami here all day. The student council go? Yeah, let's go. Path of Legends completed. Let's go, dude. So check this out. We have all of the star people done, all of the titans done. The last quest we have is this last gym. And then I think we have to battle the Elite Four, battle the star boss, Cassiopeia, I think her name is, and then go into the massive crater in the center of the map called Area Zero. This is gonna be an epic home stretch. But first, let's go beat this last gym. Okay, I just started recording. I don't know if this is gonna work here. <laughs> Yo, look at this! Oh my gosh. This is insane! Oh my gosh! All right. Here's the gym test. Take on emotional spectrum practice. Oh, this is easy. This is easy peasy. This is really the last gym? Oh my gosh. What is with these gym leaders? Golly. Sheesh. And don't tell me she has blue eyes. If she has blue eyes, like, oh my god, I might let her win. Oh my god. Whoa. Uh, hi. Oh, she has brown eyes. Okay, we're good. We're good. Pokemon is getting wild these days. Oh, my lord. I gotta rename Bongo to Broomstick because this man just sweeps every single trainer that we battle against. It's actually crazy. Please let me get a selfie. Please, I'm begging you. Yes! <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm not- I'm not actually down that bad. I just- Oh, God. Okay, I'm not actually down that bad, guys. I promise. No, I swear. No, I- I promise. I'm not- I'm not actually down that bad. I- 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 I swear. I swear. Now that you've gathered all eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Namami as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. That is where you can take on the champion assessment. Let's go, dude. This is my first time selling anything throughout the entire journey, and it looks like we've accumulated over 300 thousand dollars worth of treasures so let's let's sell all of this holy crap uh oh is clive finally going to show himself his true identity is director clavel we've been saying it this whole time mr clavel the true identity of cassiopeia the big boss of team star it was him too it was all him how wait how was he on the phone with us and with us in person like what okay when you heard cassiopeia over the phone that was actually a pre-recorded voice i pulled it off you know one of those high-tech gizmos yes it was very clever okay dude so master milk boy now you know i'm the big boss that means there's just one thing left to do face me in a final showdown to decide it all let's go baby this is like the biggest scooby-doo of all the scooby-doos we got scooby-doo twice in like one scooby-doo scooby doing of doing scoobies whoa that got weird and he leads with an orangaroo all right well let's bolt switch out of here and we will let king tut deal with this thing boom <laughs> king tut for the win houndoom versus bongo i think we all know this one's gonna go. Holy, wait, that actually did a lot of damage. Not enough, though. Kauto clean. Yes, sir. Dude, I don't know who I like more. Bongo or King Tut? They're both so cool. Daka! Yes, sir. 
Snow. See you later, Bubba Snow. Not going again with the one shot KO. That is crazy. All of his Pokemon are over level 60, and none of mine are. Yet I'm still destroying him. Uh oh, here comes the terrestrialization. Wait, low key, his Pokemon's hitting it right now. Hey, take a step back. This might get dangerous. Aqua step. Wait, I might actually be dead. Tony definitely dies to that. Oh, and Tony hangs on. We haven't really used Hog much because he's been overshadowed, but let's go. We kind of all started with Hog, so let's end it with Hog as well. Yes, sir. Eat. And here, once again, I must apologize. I'm not actually Cassipia. What in the Scooby-Doo is going on? Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you, Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they might be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sour not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So, I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. But it turns out you were strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Yes, sir. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, baby, look where we are. We are on Victory Road. <sighs> You know what that means? It is time to challenge the Elite Four. Oh my goodness. This is so epic. Here we go, baby. The Elite Four. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Milk Boy. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Of course I got all eight. Never question the Milk Boy. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind milk boy that's that's awkward i literally just said not to do that don't question me please think carefully as you may automatically fail depending on your answers are you serious how did you get here today i walked i rode on my pokemon i became a flying taxi i did ride on my pokemon i, I climbed the mountain with my pokemon to get here please tell me the name of the school you enrolled in yuva academy yes let's go baby so what brings you to the pokemon league today i came to catch pokemon no i came to become a champion i would meme this guys but I actually don't want to fail. What do you intend to do when you become champion? Oh, yeah, let's get even stronger. I, I could get behind that. Which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? Um, I don't even know. It was one of the beginning gyms, and I definitely don't remember what the towns are called. I'm just gonna go with that one. Yeah, that, that one was really challenging and, and tough. <gasps> I have no idea what this guy was called. Okay, I maybe had to look this up. I think that's the right answer. Uh, oh, God. Thank the Lord we got that one right. Jeez. He was a grass Pokemon trainer, which doesn't make any sense because my starter's fire. So that was obviously an easy gym for me. The final question of the interview. Do you like Pokemon, Milk Boy? Of course I like Pokemon. I definitely want to say no, but I can't. You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. The second segment is what we call the elite test. And you'll be facing the elite four in Pokemon battles. Dude, I'm actually so excited for this. Here we go. Yo, I don't even know what the typings of this are or anything. I literally know nothing about these E4 members. I'm not, I don't know what level they're going to be. I knew it. I knew she was going to be the first E4 member. I knew it, dude. This Rika, dude. I, I actually don't know. I mean, if it's a dude, I mean, she's dressed like a dude. I actually don't know if that's a guy or a girl. I'm going to be honest. Let's do this. You were challenged by Rika of the Elite Four. A wish cash. It's water type. Of course. And I got Tony, which can't hurt it because he's water and ground. But that's okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Let's see what a hog can do against this thing. Get him, hog! Oh! <laughs> Let's, I miss using hog. I don't know why I haven't been using him more. She's a ground type gym. Okay. That is like really bad for me. Go, Bongo! Yeah! Let's go. I don't even know if the crit mattered, but... I will take it. All right, boys, it's time for Blubby to show me some work. I feel like Blubby has not gotten much love recently. Get him, Blubby! Yes, sir. Attaboy, Blubby. We love that. All right, and I think that this is his last Pokemon. Is he gonna terrestrialize him? Yes, he is. Okay. Come on, Blubby! Nice work, Blubby! Oh my god! Wait, the little girl 
actually is an E4 member. No way. Are you serious? <laughs> she's like seven years old. I'm guessing she's a steel type. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Okay. All right, copper aja. Let's volt switch out of here. You guys smell that? It smells like... It smells like... It smells like... Taco! Let's go! Taco is definitely gonna sweep this entire E4 trainer. I'm so sorry, little girl, but this is not going to go well for you whatsoever. <laughs> oh no, that's another one. Another one bites the taco. Another one bites the dust. Okay, I'm not doing that ever again. I'm not scared. My last Pokemon will turn things around. We'll see. We'll see about that. I don't know. Oh, wait, that thing is really cool looking though. I can't wait for Taco to just absolutely demolish this thing. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's all that did? Oh, my God. What a joke. Yeah! Taco! Oh, no. What happened, little girl? Did you get bullied? It's your turn, Mr. Larry. Who is Larry? Oh, wait. I've seen that briefcase before. Um. Oh. Wait, he's... Wasn't he one of my teachers? Who is this guy again? All right, Mr. Larry. Let's see what you got. I'm gonna go with... Dra I think he's a dragon type. I don't know why. Oh, flying? Yeah, he's gotta be flying then. Get him, Tony! Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Altaria. Yeah, we're definitely going to switch into Blubby here. Go, Blubby! One down. I believe four more to go. And down goes to Raptor. All right, and here is his ace. It's a Flamigo. And he's, of course, going to terrestrialize him just for him to get owned by Tony. Yes, sir. And that is Elite Four member number three in the books. All right, and now the last member of the E4 is Hassel. I am Hassel, the dragon guarding the final fortress of the Elite Four test. And down goes Tony, no! It's okay, though. He was a valuable sacrifice. Blubby is going to tear through this entire E4 member. Ooh, out comes a Haxorus. A pseudo-legendary from Gen 5? Gen 4? Oh, boy, that's gonna hurt. Oh, jeez. No, I flinched! No! Blubby is gonna go down! Wait, did we get the roll? Give us the roll. Give us the roll. <laughs> yeah! boy, Blubby! Let's go hog! Double edge should fit finish the drow gauge. Yep, let's go. Look, it's an apple. Come on, go eat it. Go eat that apple. Go eat that apple, boy. Eat that apple. We eat that apple for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let's go. And a boy hog. And his last Pokemon is a Brax Caliber. I'm pretty sure this is the pseudo legendary of this generation. Unfortunately for him, Ungo is in town, baby. Come on, dragon. Take the Terra Jewel. All right, here we go. <gasps> oh, no. Oh no! Wait, this is not good. King Tut, this is King Tut's perfect time to come out. With three of his party members dead, he should get a huge bonus. No, this guy knows Brick Break! Wait, oh no, wait, this is really bad. I think we all know what time it is. Taco! Time! Uh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me! Oh my gosh! Please, Taco, get him! This is my last hope! Yes! Oh my gosh, that thing almost just killed my entire team. That was crazy. Wonderbull! Wonderbull? Is that a typo? I'm so proud of, of you. Why? Okay, I guess it's not a typo. Why is he saying that? Why is he doing that? It's making me uncomfortable. Your result for the elite test of champion assessment is... A pass! No doubt about it! Let's go, Milkman! Yeah, you're tougher than steel. I'd say you're good to go, but there's actually just a wee bit more to the champion assessment. This will be your final trial. You see the door back there? Our fearless commander, the final opponent you'll face for your test is waiting beyond it. Her skills are so amazing, she was able to strong arm all four of us into joining the Elite Four. Oh my gosh, boys, it's time! Oh, I'm so excited. It's gotta be Greta, right? Or Greta? It's gotta be Greta. Are you ready to face the final test of the champion assessment? Let's do this! Oh my gosh. I knew it! Yep, okay. Oh my gosh, come on. It gives me great joy that you've managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. The final test is against me, the top champion. To pass, all 
all you'll need to do is win. But before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for League Chairwoman. I am utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. Maybe that's why nobody passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. For you, you might manage something wonderful, like Champion Namami did. Well, I literally spanked Namami every time we battled, so if I don't win this, then something here is off. Let's do this, Grita! Okay, she starts off with Lady Gaga. Okay, okay, I see you. All right, I'm gonna Volt Switch here into King Tut. I hope that they go for a psychic move. Let's go, King Tut. Please use psychic or something. Reflect. That is pretty annoying, actually. I don't like that. She just used Reflect. She is really trying hard. No! She used as a Gleam! Okay, wait. Actually, that did way less than I thought it was going to. She just told me that's the correct decision. Please continue. Okay, you don't gotta treat me like that, Greta. You just said you were relentless on the battlefield, and now you're telling me I'm doing good? What? Avalog? Yeah. We're going straight into none other than Taco! Come on, Taco. Sing him a beautiful song for me. Come on. Oh! <laughs> oh, we really didn't like that. King Gambit, come on. Don't play with me. Do you see what's in front of you right now? Guys, it's time for the Super Taco. Come on. We turned him into a birthday cake. We got the candles going. Make a wish, baby. Make a wish. I wish that this torch song one shots this boy. Come on, baby. Hit him with it. Oh. Yes, sir! Let's go! Go, goat? <laughs> go, goat? Are you for real? You're seriously sending out go, goat at me. <laughs> Come on now! Gita, we're better than that. I think that this is her ace. Yeah, this is her ace, Glamora. If I go first, I'm like plus three right now, or plus four for my torch songs. I, I, If I go first, I think I one-shot it, and I think that we become the E4 champion. This might be the last turn. No, they went first. Gosh dang it. Okay, that's fine. I really wanted to end this battle with how it all started, but it's all good. Bongo, I command you to bong. Boom! Yes, Bongo! Let's go! You go beyond my imagination so easily. I mean, you just got pooped on, Gita. More like get up on out of here, because I'm the champion now! Champion Milk Boy, let's go. I don't know why they're all so happy. Honestly, if I was the Elite Four and we all just got smoked, I would be so embarrassed and annoyed, but I mean, I'll take it. Champion Milk Boy, it is now your duty to set an example for all the trainers of Paldea. Of Paldea. Paldea. I don't even know which one it is yet. Now, allow me to walk you to the entrance. I'm certain you'll find a familiar face waiting for you. Namami's gotta be there. Come on, Namami, give me a smooch. Imagine I did all of this. I became the strongest Pokemon Pokemon trainer in the history of Pokemon trainers just to impress Namami. There she is. Milk boy, milk boy. Oh man, I can tell just looking at you, you did it. You became a champion. Of course, Namami not giving me a smooch. And I'm back home. Victory road complete. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just started recording because I've been trying to find where to go for this. This is Cassiopeia. It's the, it's the blue and, and redhead girl, right? She doesn't blue. And, it's, it's the Eevee backpack. Pepper. I think her name's Pepper. I honestly probably could have guessed that. That's 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 bad intuition on my end. This must be quite a shock for you. It kind of is, but also I could totally see it coming. The big boss, Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use them to tempt you to helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess. Clive, you've already let us know that you're that you're Cavill. That you're Director Cavill. Why are you, are you still dressing up like that? Oh, wait, her name's Penny. <laughs> I called her Pepper earlier. So she started with an Umbreon, and now she's sending out a Flareon. I think uh, I think we can predict quite a trend that's going to occur here. 
<laughs> Hog has still got it, baby. And that is the end of Team Star. Cassiopeia breaks up the rest of the five Team Star bosses and says goodbye. Oh, wait. Penny doesn't know that Clive is Director Cavill. And Penny was going to take all responsibility for Team Star. But now that she just admitted to everything and talked to Clive about how much everything meant to her, Director Clavel is now probably going to let her go scots-free. What in the Scooby-Doo is going on? This isn't even Pokemon anymore. I'm playing Scooby-Doo. There's so many switcheroos and whippity wops and hoopity hops. This is insane. All right, see you, Penny. Apparently, me and Penny are like best buds now. I don't know how that happened, but we are. Let's go. It's Arvin now. This probably means that it's time for the very last Titan. I'm, I'm actually really excited for this part. Uh-oh. Oh, baby, here we go. Area zero. I low-key used to hate Arvin, but now, now Arvin's kind of the goat. Even though he's really, really bad at training Pokemon. This is the Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater at Paldea. What folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Maridon was born, or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that I can finally come back home. Anyway, our two teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. One of them better be Namami. I hope it's Namami and Jack. Namami and Jack would be sick. Oh, oh I'm getting excited. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Oh, it is Namami. Let's go. Hola, milk boy. Who's the, who's our fourth? Who's our fourth? Come on, tell me it's Jack. Oh, it's Penny. I, I don't want it to be Penny. Penny kind of annoys me. Oh, okay. Biometric identification in progress. What does that even mean? Oh, it's Professor Toro. Hello, milk boy. I've been expecting you. Is this a trap? Oh, what in the Scooby-Doo is going on? And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Well, I mean, Penny's here, so not really. Guys, I feel like it's about to go down. Ooh, okay, this is kind of creepy. Namami, student number ID, blah, blah, blah. I think Professor Toro is like a bad guy, right? He's gotta be. To begin, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down to the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator. You see to your right. No, this is not good. Wait, we're, we're being set up. We are being set up to die. This is not good. However, apparently this is where Maridon was born. So maybe we'll find more legendaries down here. I'm kind of excited, low key. Oh, why am I down here alone? Where's the rest of the gang? Hello? Oh, oh, okay. That doesn't make any sense because I just got down here in the elevator alone. Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. All right, here we go. Penny seems really concerned that everything is being manually controlled. Milk Boy, have you brought Maridon with you? Of course I have. Oh my gosh, dude, what's going to happen? If you utilize Maridon's gliding cap capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach area zero. When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope the trip is uneventful. Wait, is everyone getting on Maridon with me? What's happening here? Oh, we really are all getting on. Why is Arvin the one like controlling it? That should be me. What, what on earth? Why did we make this so difficult? Oh my gosh. I literally don't know what is going on. There's got to be a legendary Pokemon down there though. Like, right? There has to be. Oh, all right. And check out area zero. This place is pretty incredible. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It appears you've reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. I do not trust Professor Toro at all. Like, he's just commanding us to do task after task after task, and I bet you by the end, like, something crazy is going to happen. Whoa! Wait, it looks like it's a, a robot. It's called Iron Bundle. What in the world? It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a deli bird, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, dude. I bet you this whole thing is like a project of, of, of Dr. Toro creating Pokemon. I bet you Toro created that thing. Toro probably turned himself into a Pokemon. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, causing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate, to say nothing of its treads of iron. So they aren't actually Pokemon. What do you think, Milk Boy? I don't think they're regular Pokemon. Nice. Great answer. Great answer, Milk Boy. Great answer. Some of the life forms that you 
DC residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in a distant day we have yet to see. What? The Zero Lab where I'm located contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. What? So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here, he actually got it working? Indeed. Though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? Yeah, the cost of spending any time with your son. It is theoretically possible to travel into the future. However, for being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Oh my gosh, wait, did Toro go to the future? Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... Oh my god, wait, I actually don't know what's gonna happen. If possible, I would like us to speak when we meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Milk Boy, please use the center panel here and disable another lock on my lab. This is actually getting crazy! Holy guacamole. There are futuristic and future Pokemon in Area Zero. This is literally insane. Ooh, Arvin just gave me the Violet book, which apparently has all the answers to Area Zero. Oh! It's another one of the, 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 the future Pokemon. It's the Don fan from the book. It's, oh yeah, it is like the, we, we saw a Titan like this as well. But this one's different, I think. I wish I could catch these things, but we, we have to kill them. I want one to replace stupid Tony. Tony's so bad. All right, here we are. Research station number three of four. The Pokemon here in area zero came to our time from the future, right? So what about Maridon? Isn't it pretty likely that he's also one of those future Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a good point, actually. You had Maridon's ball, and you told us about his forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? I guess I have no choice but to tell you what I know. Why have you not told us yet, bro? That Pokemon, Maridon, it was found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. Okay, and Tora wants to take over. Here we go. Maridon, which I entrusted to Milk Boy, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Through analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact the futuristic form of Cyclozar, the Pokemon commonly ridden in this region. That's what I was saying. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Maridon. All right, that is number three of four. We just have one more site to go. This is getting crazy. <laughs> this is getting crazy, dude. So Maridon is a Pokemon of the future. I guess that makes sense. I mean, his eyeballs are LED lights, so. I probably could have guessed that. Here we go. Into area zero. Ooh, it's getting spooky in here. <gasps> a Hydreigon. Dude, I love Hydreigon. He looks funky, though. It's the Delibird, too. Wait, are these all, like, special future Pokemon? Okay, so, look, I can battle the Delibird. Oh, I can catch it. Oh, let's go. I can also kill it, apparently. Look, look. Right here. Yeah. Look at this thing. That is not a normal Hydreigon. Look at this. Iron Juggalus. How do I not kill this thing? Uh, oh, okay. That didn't really do anything. Let's go, baby. We caught it. Oh, it's dark and flying. This is perfect. We can finally replace Tony. I uh, honestly, guys, if you, I mean, if you guys like Tony, I get it. Like he's fun. He's funny, but oh, I just, I can't stand him anymore. I really can't. Whoa. What happened? This place is a mess. Hello, children. I'm sorry. Hello, children. Wait, what? I'm, oh my God, what is happening? No, 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 what is happening? I knew it! I knew this was a setup! Oh my gosh. Hello, children. Oh, no, 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 no. Initiating restart. Oh my gosh. Is no one else, like, really freaked out? I don't want to press this button! Why are they gonna make me press this button, dude? Oh god, here we go. We're gonna do it! Okay, all the locks are disabled. Ah, hello. Can you hear me now? Please forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. Please make your way to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Oh my gosh, dude. I feel like we're gonna get jumped. At least we have Namami to protect us. Ooh, and here we go. The moment of truth. This is where all the secrets will be revealed. Here we go. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. But why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possesses a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So, this entire building has been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? The professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. 
They're made from crystals down here in area zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. Since you've disabled all four locks, the gate to zero lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted by the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. All right, here we go. Oh. My. Wait. 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 Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh. Come on, Maridon, get up! Get up, boy! Oh, that Maridon's going in. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Is that a Hariyama? Oh, and it's another Dawn fan thing. Oh my goodness. The floodgates are open. Oh my lord. Arden, why do you always put your hands up, you baby? Wait, I'm doing it too. There we go, Maridon. There we go. Oh, baby, here we go. Whoa, whoa, look how big I am on the... On the crystal. Mom, I'm on TV. Dang, I do be caking a little bit too. Sheesh. All right, anyway, it's time for us to go into whatever this is, where I believe we're going to be fighting some ridiculously strong and OP futuristic Pokemon. Oh, it's Professor Toro. Deactivating sleep mode. Oh my gosh. He's fully just a robot. Hello, Milk Boy. Thank you for coming. Oh, and that's his Maridon. Okay. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Maridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. Come on, Maridon! What is that? I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I'm not the true Professor Toro. Oh, really? Oh, really? I am an artificial intelligence the professor created imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for the Maridon to survive and thrive. That's why he threw himself in front of your Maridon in an attempt to protect it. The first time I reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Milk Boy, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. This elevator will take us to the lower level. Step inside. All right, here we go. I think we are going to deactivate the time machine once and for all. The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Turo had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, what you might call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. The original professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future. And this power has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as the copy of Professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in which allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor ever desired. You've become a formidable trainer. Now use the strength you have gained to destroy the dream Turo wants changed cherished. Yeah, let's do it. I thought he was about to say, on this entire journey, you probably noticed da -da -da and, da -da -da, and you're actually AI. Thank the Lord. Here we go. We just reached the lowest level. This is where the time machine is. Oh my goodness. Ooh. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of terrestrial phenomenon, of the terrestrial phenomenon, the whatever. Grow up. 
To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which he has embedded within the Violet book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. He loved the volume since childhood. If you place the Violet book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the time machine, it will most likely attack. The time machine will attack me? Artificial being I am, my own desires can be overridden by- Oh, he- You're gonna attack me. <gasps> Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Oh my gosh, once that happens, I'm afraid I'll become no more than a machine, bound to defeat anyone who identifies as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Oh my gosh! Once you have ready yourself for this fight, please place the Violet Book upon the pedestal. That is crazy! So he knows that he's about to go rogue. The second I put the book into this slot, all of his code will go haywire and tell him to attack me. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking do this. He's probably gonna have like all of the, the futuristic Pokemon too because he's been down here. He's been living down here with all of them. And, but I mean, he also has Maridon as well. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to fight Maridon. Shut down command overridden. Reinitializing. Oh gosh, here we go. It's up to you now, Milk Boy. AI Turo switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive whatever that said. Holy guacamole. Please defeat me. Oh my god. At last. At last, my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. Dude, this is scary. AI Turo has initiated a battle. Oh my god. Is that Maridon? Oh! Iron Moth. It's a- it's a Iron Volcarona! Alright, this thing is fire and poison type. Come on, Hog! If Hog can get one dig off, that should be it. And he's not gonna be able to... This is the power the distant future holds. Splendid, isn't it? Relax, relax. Okay. Get down goes hog. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. It's alright. We got this. We got this. We got this. Oh no, that's gonna hurt. Oh no, 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 Bongo! Wait, no, this is actually really bad. Okay, we finished him. Oh man, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, okay, so this deli bird is water and ice type. I'm dead. Oh wait, he used snowscape. I don't even know what that does, but I don't think it hurts me. It makes it snow. Oh! Wait, we just one shot it. Let's go, Tony! Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Oh my gosh. I this should kill it though. Yes! Yes, Bongo! Yes! Come on! Come on, baby! Iron Jugulus, that's the, the that's the Hydreigon, which is flying in dark. Um yeah, we're gonna go to Tony again. Come on, Tony! Get him, Tony! Oh no. Oh, if Tony doesn't kill on the first hit, it's normally really bad for him. Okay, he's almost dead, but we got this. Come on, Tony, get him. Yes, Tony, yes! Iron Hands. I think Iron Hands is uh, Hariyama, which is... Yes, Fighting Electric. Okay, come on. Come on, Tony. Uh, oh, that did not do a lot. Oh, you used Thunder Punch! What an idiot! Yes, Volt Absorb! Yes! Tony the Goat! Yes, Tony! Oh my gosh. For all the times that I've made fun of you, for all the times that you have failed me, for as horrible of a Pokemon as you are, please land three hurricanes in a row for the culture! For the culture, Tony! Yes! Yes, Tony! Tony, please. For the culture. For the culture. Four in a row. Come on, Tony. Please. Please. Yes, Tony! Tony! My gosh, Tony just did that. Uh-oh. Toro seems to be a little bit defected, and here comes the gang. 
I probably have a lot of explaining to do here. Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Yeah, you know it, girl. You know it. Oh, wait. Oh, we're talking about uh, Pokemon. Okay. Uh, oops. Um, I also beat those as well. Yes. Thank you for everything. The time machine has finally, has finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are you? Oh, <laughs> What makes you say that? <laughs> oh, look how big you've grown. Aw, so proud of you. My son? My son? No? Sorry you were so alone. So long. Dad. Security system failure. Security system failure. Oh my god. Can we get out of here? The thing's gonna blow up or something. Is another Pokemon army on its way here? Please tell me no. It cannot be. Wait, what? Wait, why are you surprised? An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Program initializing. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. What is happening now? You must run. That's what I'm saying! Let's get out of here! AI Turo disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol initialized. Dude, I think Turo actually is a Pokemon himself, I swear. You were challenged by the Paradise Protection Protocol. I have to battle again? I knew it! I knew it I had to battle this thing! Go, Tony! Oh, wait. <gasps> Oh, all the Pokeballs are locked. I can't battle with a Pokemon on the field. You don't say. It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are we ever supposed to battle? Where's our Maridon? That's what we need. Oh, there we go. That's the... I knew it, dude. Here we go. Come on, Maridon. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It's time, baby. It's time, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Show him who's boss. Come on, do it. Yeah. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. Oh, and he's taunting us on the first turn. Oh, that did a lot. That did a lot. Oh, okay, this is not good. This is really bad. This is really bad. How am I supposed to win this? Oh, he's charging up. Okay, yeah, keep, keep using that. Keep using, I wish I had Encore. Oh, it's Special Defense Rose. That's actually bad. That's really bad, actually. Come on, Maridon. Seriously. Enough messing around. Let's get some crits rolling. Let's do something here. Oh my god. Wait. I, I'm i dead. <sighs> I'm HP. Oh no. No. I mean, no. It's over. Why don't I get Hyper Beam? Why does he get Hyper Beam? Man, that's not fair. Am I actually supposed to win this? Oh, my special attack sharply rose. I don't know why, but let's go. Okay. He has to recharge. Come on. Wait, my Terra Orb is glowing. Yeah, terrestrialized, you're right. Why have I not terrestrialized yet? <gasps> oh my god! Guys, if I go first, I think if I go first, I win! Come on, right up, please! One HP in a dream! Come on! Yes! Yes! Hit him! Get him! Yes! Oh my gosh! No way! I just won that! What HP! Oh my gosh! We did it! You did it! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Toro is saying that the time machine cannot be destroyed unless he is destroyed. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. I don't know what that means, but he's bidding us adieu. I bid you adieu back, Mr. AI Toro. And there he goes. He's going through the time machine himself, sending himself to the future to never be seen again. Goodbye, my friend. Holy guacamole. And there you have it. The Adventures of Milk Boy. That is the story of Milk Boy 
becoming the milk man. But in all seriousness, thank you all so much for watching. If you did watch this entire thing, you're an absolute legend. This took me forever to record and shout out to my editor Smags for going through all the footage. He is a real freaking G. But again, if you guys did enjoy, please, please, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. If you want to see me do some more of these super cuts, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll go back to the old games and do some of those as well. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, <laughs> I'll catch you in our next adventure.